it's time to do another extended look on another bait. This is a bait company that I thoroughly enjoy getting baits from and trying. And I bought three of these. And if you use the code that I'll tell you at the end, you can save 30%. But they do things for anglers. Their pricing, their durability, the way they put things in, they, they manufacture. They're trying to produce a high quality product for anglers that catch bass, not catch anglers. So today our extended look is of the new Thunderhawk Lures DRT, which is dead right there, frog. So before I get started, do me a favor. I'm, I'm trying to reach a goal. Click that subscribe button, click that like button, help the channel grow and become part of the family. Now I'm gonna give you a little background of how this DRT frog came about. Several years ago I met with, or I met Mikey or Mike Schumacher. I think that's, I don't know if he wants to go as Mikey or Mike, but young angler, I think he was probably eight or nine years old, but fantastic fantastic angler and his passion was frog fishing he's from up north loves frogs and he sitting down with him i was able to realize that not only was i not a good event as angler as him but he knew more about frogs than i did and when thunderhawk lures started to partner with him and what they were trying to do is make the best frog at the best point price i said that wrong like five times i've had to cut that in and out but they came up with the DRT frog. Now, Mikey has won tournaments with his sister. He's a very respectful young man. He and his sister and his family are just good people, good quality people. When he and I talked about frog fishing, we were kind of at the same place. We noticed things that could be better. And when I mentioned them to Mikey, he had already said that's already being done on the, the, the DRT, the frog. And when you get this, you're gonna quickly see that there's so many good extra options to this frog that it's one that you should have in your box. So Thunderhawk and Mikey started collaborating on the DRT frog about two years ago. Some of the things that we talked about was where the hook placements need to be, how they need to be a little bit more outward, putting the right type of tail on here, one that you don't need to trim. It's almost the perfect size right out of the bat. It comes one per pe one piece per, per lure, and it really is an exceptional frog. Now, when you're dealing with frogs and topwater frogs, especially ones that look like this, everybody's first initial thought is, how soft is it? How collapsible is that gonna be when you're out there fishing? Because the more collapsible the frog is, the easier the, the hooks penetrate that fish's mouth. Now, while I've always said that snag proof and the, that Bobby's Perfect Frog is about as soft as it gets, this is as soft as any frog I've ever used. It collapses everywhere. I mean, just the slightest touch makes it collapse and expose those hooks. And that's what's so beautiful about it. Well, there's a lot of beautiful things about it, but that's one of the many great things about this DRT frog. I mentioned it just a second ago. One of the things, the key things that when you start really getting into frog fishing, you realize that the hook placement, while it needs to be buried a little bit so you don't continuously get weeds and snags on your hooks, the placement of the hooks need to be separated a little bit. There's a lot of great frogs that are out there, just like this one. This is the Bobby's Perfect Frog. And it's only a couple, I don't even know if it's centimeters or millimeters difference in the, that, that hook just how it comes out. Now again, this one's a real similar to this one, the DRT, but the, the, the hook placement is where you see the difference. And it's just a slight difference. I mean, this one is just slightly out more. And most pros would, would tell you they get a frog and they take pliers and push those hooks out just a little bit to make them so they, they, uh, they expose better. And that's what Thunderhawk has done on every one. The hooks are magnificent on this frog. Magnificent. 
The other great thing about this frog, or another great thing on this frog, is it has two rattles. They're inside this body and they make that deeper thumping sound. Now they're not super loud rattles. They're more subtle. But that's what you want in a frog. You want don't you don't want something just out there that's just loud rattle trap loud. You want something subtle. Now there is a difference in there are certain sounds bass key into more. I'm not sure if the deeper thumping one is worth what they're going for, but they will feel it and it does add some attraction to the bait. You can get it someplace and just shake your rod and get that thumping noise and get bites. So another positive that Thunderhawk has done is putting rattles inside their DRT frog. Now I can get away with the hooks being not in the right places and I can get away with not having the rattles, but the collapsibility and how weedless it is are the most important thing to me. As an angler down here in Florida, we have a lot of grass on top of the water, a lot of pond scum, stuff like that. This does not catch any of it. I used it yesterday and you'll see it in the drone footage and I just skated it over as much grass as I could possibly get. The first thing I noticed was it didn't draw a lot of water. There's a lot of times you get a frog and you bring it in, you have to squeeze it to get the water out. I didn't find that with this one. I found that it, you could get it in the, the thick weeds and mats and all that stuff. It came through it perfectly, but I didn't have to spend or waste time getting water out. And I appreciate that. It's the little differences because if you're sitting there squeezing water out of your bait, your weight isn't in the water. If your bait isn't in the water, you're not catching fish. So while there's a lot of positives, a lot of positives, positives outweigh the negatives on this one, I really appreciated that it, it came over, was weedless, and I didn't have to worry about draining water out of it. Another positive I found on this one is it casts a mile. Almost too far at one point in time. I was aiming for something and I went 10 or 15 feet past it because I didn't think I could get to where I was aiming. And that's because they have a little weight here in the back. This also helps with the water too. The little water that you might get in here does come out right here, but this white piece here really helps that bait cast. It just casts a mile. And I really appreciate that. And when, you, when it does land, it isn't a walking frog. It will twitch back and forth in its place very slowly, very quick back and back to back. But really what it does well is it bounces and it goes like this more. It doesn't do wide S motions. It stays on top, bounces, and does this. And when it stops, it wants to do, it wants to turn. So when you flip, twitch it again, it gets back into its motion. It bounces very well over the water. It isn't a popping, popping frog, it's a walking frog. It bounces and walks over everything while also skating across lily pads and all that brush and scrub and pond scum and everything. It's, it's a really exceptional lure from an exceptional bait company. And really why this bait is weightless is that the hooks kind of get hidden inside this little area there. So while you do feel it with your finger, you can see my finger getting perked a little bit, it pushes that up. So that's what makes it almost weedless. Thunderhawk and Mikey use a silicone skirt with a little bit of flash in there. And the skirt is actually made to be as close as possible as what most anglers want. Most anglers want it to be about the size of the bait. Now I think it should be just a little bit bigger up to the nose, but overall this allows you to get the bait out of the package and use it without trimming it right away. Now for me, I only found one flaw in this bait and it's going to sound very petty, I think, but you can't, it can't be perfect. And I'm going to use one, I'm going to use the Bobby's Perfect Frog as an example. This eye is a lot smaller than this eye. And I know that sounds, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking what the hell, Steve, what, what, what ma does it matter on how big that eyelid is? Well, for me, it does. Now, I said down here in Florida, I get a lot of pond scum. So I found that I got a lot of pond scum around this part of the, the bait. And it's because this is a lot bigger 
than the normal eyelet of a hook or eyelet of a frog. And that was my really only flaw. Now I should say I would make probably 10 or 15, 18 casts and then had to, you know, squeeze it off and get the ponds come off. But most ponds aren't going to have that. But for me, that was my only flaw I saw it. I thought it casted a mile. There are very few frogs at this weight size and that size that casts better than that. I actually believe that's the best casting frog I've used in this style. Um, one that bounces. There's other ones that are like bullets and those just cast a mile. In this style with this soft plastic, this bait casts better than almost every frog I've ever used. The collapsibility is just as good as those that snag proof. The hooks are perfect. Um, they have six or eight colors that are really exceptional. And really, if you use the code get your fish on 30, you save 30% on it. So these frogs cost you like seven bucks. And that there is ridiculous. Because the normal Bobby's Perfect Frog and those other frogs are probably $10, 11 $12, maybe even $13. To get that frog to do what it does at seven, seven fifty, whatever it is, 30% off, is unbelievable. I think it might be eleven ninety uh ten ninety nine, so you save three bucks. Uh and that's unbelievable. Now I don't know how long that code will work, but again, get your fish on 30 and you'll save 30% directly at thunderhawklures.com. I don't get anything from it. I actually bought all three of these lures. They usually send me the lures. I don't know what's going on. They didn't, but I think it's as good as ever. I think the paint scheme is good. I like the underbelly with the little dots, just like what a frog would have. I like the eyes. I like the collapsibility. I do like the, the skirt. There's, like I said, there's one thing that I don't like, and that's the size of the eyelet. And really, seriously, I mean, I feel petty to say that. But I think it's a really exceptional frog at an amazing price if you use that code. So go use the code and check it out. I hope you like this extended look of the Thunderhawk Lures DRT Frog. If you want more of these, comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Comment below. I appreciate y'all. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I almost forgot to do that. Wouldn't want to start doing something else. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.